this season and how wild it has been? Has it felt like a a long season to you, or has it felt like a short season? You know, it's, it's just 72 games, but a lot of peaks and valleys. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely been a, a season. I don't know if you put this for the record books or, or how you how you promote the season, but it has definitely been a very unique one. There are certainly times of the season where I was, I think we were all hoping like, come on, hurry up and get through this pandemic that we're dealing with. And, and, and it seemed to, we were head over the head, left, right, and center, where they, everything was just around the corner, that whether it was a, you know, an injury bug or, 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 or trades or what have you and so forth. But i um, proud of how the guys have managed it, you know, and it's, and it's everybody. The travel party itself has gone through nothing like this ever before, where, where our guys are testing every single day. Our guys are limited on what they can do on the road. I mean, they're like, at the beginning of the season, we were stuck in hotel rooms and so forth. So there were those moments where, yes, it felt um, very long and very tedious. So, but, um, but at the same time, it's exciting. You know, I mean, you know, we're, we're getting to this point now where we can kind of, see the playoffs and see see what I can't wait to see the floor with, with the guys I know they're anxious and excited to hiring Steve Nash I mean it's been a while now but how about how about the job you know your friend uh, and and what Steve has been able to do and what's impressed you about the way that he's been able to keep this group connected in his first season and a tumultuous yeah. season <laughs> no hey I cannot say enough good things about Steve. He, he's been absolutely amazing. The way he has collaborated with his coaching staff, I, I've never seen it like this before. Uh, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, to be honest, because I think that's that's the Steve that I've known for 20-plus years. And, you know, when you bring in a guy with that sense of humility, the big picture view, um, and, and to be able to come in there and be the first person to say, look, I need help. How do I do this? What do I do this? And, you know, what should I go about doing this? Every coach's meeting starts with, "What do you guys think?" Um, <laughs> and, and a credit to all all the coaching staff that they've done a nice job here and, and so forth as they prepare for the playoffs. But but Steve has a very calm way about him, and his ability to connect with players one on one, his ability to you know command a locker room without always raising his voice you know and and involving players in some of these decisions has been unique and it hasn't been an easy task i mean this has been a year and continues to be a year where I, i'm sure we'll be surprised you never know right we've just got to be on our toes here but um you know he, he's the right guy for the job and uh, and i i say that from top to bottom i mean it's been it's been really fun it's been fun for me to learn from him how big of a role has team culture and camaraderie played in the team's success this season? I think with all teams that have had any level of success, you know, it, it could be my son's flag football team that goes to have pizza after games, or it could be the Brooklyn Nets or an EPL team or the All Blacks or anybody else for that matter. Anytime you have success, there has to be a level of camaraderie. There has to be that collaboration. There has to be the, the sacrifice and, the, you know, the team's overall buy-in to, hey, there's, there's a greater mission here. It's not about me. It's not about personal statistics. I, we've never been about one person, ever. It, you know, it's, it's never been about a head coach. It's never been about a GM. It's never been about one or two players. Every given night, it could be somebody different that comes up there and steps up for us. And I think what you've seen or what I've at least seen watching how, you know, our big three, will be, they'll be the first to tell you, get – the majority of the accolades and, and, and attention and, and rightfully so for what they've accomplished. But I'm watching them over the course of this last year teach and have a really nice teaching role there and take younger guys aside. You know, um, sometimes it's hard teaching, but you know, they're demanding and they have every right to be demanding. And, and what I've seen from this group, um, you know, a lot of the teaching and a lot of the coaching that's been going on has, has been, you know, has been great. Now, having been in Brooklyn for six years, Sean, what are your some of your favorite parts of the city? Favorite parts of the city? Well, you know, I love Brooklyn Bridge Park. I love going down there. Every time we have some meetings, we're always down in that Dumbo area, so I do love that. Uh, Park Slope, obviously terrific. Um, I'm a big, well, I think I would say our whole group is big, uh, big foodies right now, so, so we love all the <laughs> restaurants. So, you know, there's nothing like Brooklyn, New York style pizza. So when you, when we're going to Lucali's or Giuliana's, this is amazing. And then our good friend Sean Feeney over at Missy and Lilia. So we those spots are terrific. But 
um, you know, without a doubt, the favorite spot is Barclays. So, you know, I, I, I can't <laughs> wait to get a fan. I speak for, I think, everybody here from, our, you know, our owner, you know, Joe Sy, uh, right through all the fans. I mean, we can't wait to get back in that building and pack it out and hear it. You know, it's, I think that's probably one of the things I've been a little, um, maybe disheartened with the whole year is not being able to put this group in front of, you know, 18,000 screaming fans. And, uh, you know, we owe it to the borough. We can't wait to get back in there. And, and hopefully if everybody's safe and well, and we can open it up, that'll be terrific.